Well, it's interesting to see my character in, on, on a page, uh, and I think he made, it, he made me look uh, better than my real self. <laughs> <laughs> this is Taha Siddiqui, a Pakistani journalist who's escaped both kidnapping and assassination attempts and had to leave his country for France. Five years after his exile, he decided to put his story on paper through a comic book. When I had to go into my past, which is a bit dark, uh, sometimes memories that I had repressed and that I don't want to remember. Uh, because I, I mean, I come to think of it, I, I think there was a lot of, I had a lot of abusive childhood, you know. The comic meant reliving some memories from his youth, including his family becoming so radicalized that they rejected his profession. You know, with my family, uh, my relationship is not the best. Uh, especially with my father, for example, he doesn't know anything about the book. You see, my dad is uh, without the beard and everything, and that's me as a child. She doesn't look religious at all, they don't look religious people. Like, this is the transformation, my mother is starting to wear the veil. Different time, different time. Today, his family is his wife and son. The cartoonist, Hubert Maury, has also lived in Pakistan and wanted to reach a wider audience whilst keeping a humorous tone. We realised that the message could be better conveyed by distancing it from the original dramatic material, by treating it in a non-dramatic way so there's no repetition between what's said and the real facts. The comic's title, Dissident Club, is also no coincidence. It comes from the name of Taha's bar in Paris, a place for dissidents of the world to exchange and share as they choose. Safety, I've been told uh, by French authorities and Western authorities that I, I am at risk and my name is on a kill list. Recently, some Hong Kong political refugees held a play at the bar, something that's inspired Taha for his next publication.